Hey guys, Ryan Clackner with Gun University. We've already covered the basic parts of the scope, and now we're doing a deeper look into each one of those parts and seeing how they work. In this video, we're going to talk about the parallax adjustment knob or the target focus knob. <laughs> Before I talk about the adjustment itself, let's discuss what parallax is. Parallax is something you do not want in shooting. It is the relative shift in position of two objects at different distance. What does that mean? Well, do this with me. Take one finger and put it at arm's length in front of you. Put another finger closer and close one eye. Using your one eye that's open, line your fingers up so they're perfectly in line with each other, and then move your head a little left to right. Notice how it looks like your fingers are changing position even though they're holding still? That's parallax. We don't want that when we're shooting because if you're looking through your scope and your reticle is here and the target's out here, you might be moving your rifle to reline the reticle back up and pointing it off the target. Some scopes, like hunting scopes, have a fixed parallax. It'll tell you right there on the box at what distance the parallax for that scope is set. However, on higher end target scopes, you're almost always going to have an adjustable parallax. On these, it is an adjustable knob on the side of the scope. However, you can encounter some scopes that have what's called an adjustable objective. That means the parallax is adjusted by turning the front of the scope. But on higher end long range shooting scopes, it's always gonna be a parallax knob here on the left side of the scope. Now you heard me before call it a target focus knob also. That's because it really is the same thing. In the scope, the target's image is focused at one spot within the scope, and the reticle is at another spot on the scope. If they're not in the same focal plane, that parallax problem can occur. So by turning this parallax adjustment knob, we're actually adjusting the target's focus and bringing that target focus on the same focal plane as the reticle, so if your eye does move, they move together. There are ways to make sure you have the right parallax set. And one of them is not looking at the numbers on these knobs. You will see numbers on here that have different yardage or meter adjustments. They might get you close, but I do not recommend relying on them because everyone's eye is different and they're not actually set perfectly from the factory. Instead, the best way for you to check that it's set up properly is one, see if the target is blurry or not. One of the problems when you're looking through a scope, if you've ever had, where you're trying to focus back and forth between the reticle and the target's image, that tells you something's wrong. Either your ocular focus, which we covered in another video, or your parallax adjustment are wrong, and you need to fix them. Another way to check this out is look through the scope and turn that knob while you're moving your head. You will see that reticle and the target image move independent of each other until the setting is correct, and they'll move together. So next time you're out shooting, especially when you're changing distances to targets, make sure you don't forget to adjust your parallax you're gonna have a much better time hitting the target and being consistent from shot to shot.